So please give a warm South African welcome to each of these riders as they're being introduced as they come here to South Africa to participate in this great sport of ours. This event is run by the Racing Association. We keep it going. It's the one event in the racing calendar that epitomizes the sport of, the, of racing. And it really is something that we're proud of. My board has kept it going for the last six years, with obviously with sponsors' help. And I think it's, uh, it's just growing every year. And this year, the headline sponsor is Racing It's a Rush. I think most of you are aware by now what Racing is a Rush is, so I won't get into that. I'll leave that to uh, Mike Varney to actually tell you all of those of you who don't know, but I think it's, uh, it's very important. I want to thank them for coming on board as the headline sponsor. And I think the event fits in nicely with, with the branding and what we're trying to achieve about the sport of horse racing. The gambling is a side part, but the sport is the main focus of racing. It's a rush and that's what we, we, we hope it achieves. Uh, the other sponsors I would like to thank, obviously, is uh, Sun International, Rob Dalton and his team for their efforts, always there to help us, and uh, thank you for that. Um, there, then there's the citizen that always comes on board and helps us from a media sponsorship point of view. And then uh, I've got to thank the industry role players, John Stewart and his team from PGE. John, thank you. We really appreciate it. Um, it's never an issue with John. He just goes, goes head to head with it. As uh, you, you realize from an international point of view, it does give him a bit of exposure over there. And you know, obviously looking at commingling coming soon with, uh, it's coming with, uh, with France and with a whole lot of other people, I think it's important that we support those nations and bring out their top riders to give, to give them the support at home where the people will recognize them. So that's one of our objectives as well, but I thank you, John. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a, a twofold uh, effect for us, uh, Andrew. First of all, um, you know, it, it exposes South African horse racing to a bigger market overseas. You know, obviously, all of these jockeys uh, come from territories where our picture is going into, but it does help having a high-profile event like this, which will advertise and market on our Racing International, our new Tally Jack 3, which goes into their betting shops. Um, so from the, it, it markets South African horse racing, but also it, it creates a, a closer bond between ourselves and the rights holders in all of those territories. You see that we are bringing their jockeys out here and recognising their skills and bringing them into South Africa. And then of course Pumalela, who come to the party as well, they, they're always there to also help us. And then of course uh, my board, the Racing Association board, for giving us the funds to support this event. Over the years we've been fortunate to bring out uh, the champion English jockey. This year Richard Hughes uh, couldn't make it, uh, he's going to become a trainer and he has to prepare his stable, so Richard's not on the list, but, but please believe me, we've got a formidable team coming out here. Um, I'd like to introduce the team to you. We have James Doyle, who will be representing England. He's a top rider and when people were just asking who he was, he ended up winning the champion's uh, stakes at Ascot a week ago. Everybody knows who James Doyle is in the UK, but from South Africa they'll get to know who he is. He's an up-and-coming youngster. When we talk youngster, 26 I think he is. So that's, uh, that's who James Doyle is. We've got Adam Kirby. We've got Martin Harley. Also, who's Martin Harley? Martin Harley rides for a trainer called Marco Botti. He's one of the top trainers in the UK. And uh, on Sunday he rode in France in one of their top races. And uh, he ended up winning the uh, big race in France. A graded race. So that's who he is. Then we have somebody from Turkey, Salim Kaya. Uh, he's one of the top riders in Turkey and we've had experiences before with Turkish riders. Very capable. And then we have Andreas Helfenbein from Germany. He rides for the champion trainer in, um, in Germany. So the team, a lot, lot of these guys are making a name for themselves and up and coming. And I think it's, uh, it's going to be a, a formidable uh, event with these guys coming. I don't think I mentioned there's that one jockey that nobody knows who's coming and everyone keeps saying who's coming, who's coming. And I've left it to last. That's the last international uh, jockey that's coming out here. We literally 10 minutes ago, he phoned and said, I am there, just put my name down. That is Gregory Benoit. He was here last year and ended up being the uh, Victor Lodorum of the series. He was the top rider on points. And he enjoyed it so much, he asked, please, if we could wait 
for him to decide and he's decided he will be here. Uh, he, he represents France and he will be here with, with the foreign team. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for being here. Uh, I will be around if there's any questions and then with no further ado, I want to just thank the media for being here. As always, it's an integral part of racing. I'd like to hand you over to Michael Varney. Thank you very much. From a racing and race perspective, it's, this has been a fantastic opportunity for um, us to get involved. You know, obviously our main objective is bringing new blood back to the sport. Whilst that is our main objective and remains our main objective, it has also been important for us to include our current stakeholders and our current fans of the sport to get them behind the Racing It's a Rush brand because it's them who ultimately are going to allow us to encourage the people, our new fans, and get them behind the sport. Um, I'd like to thank our, the other sponsors, Sun International, Baiting World, PGI, um, and then the Citizen newspaper, who are great fans of our sport. And thank you to Erica and her team for backing the Jockeys International. I think without them, it's impossible to get the word out there. Um, Racing It's a Rush has been, we've had an interesting start. It's been well received by the general public. And I think that without the existing stakeholders' support, being the Racing Association, um, Pumalela, Gold Circle, and the Therapedia project, this, pro this project actually wouldn't work. We're very excited. We can't wait to bring um, these jockeys out here. And from a media perspective, we're getting a huge amount of interest because of the international team. Our South African captain, Smanga Kumalo, is our glory boy um, at the moment. And with Smanga's support, we're able to, we schlep him all over to every interview. And if any camera we can get him in front of, Smanga agrees to be there, which is obviously also very important from our side. Um, and we just look forward to a fantastic series of meetings on the 15th and 15th of November in Turfentine on the 16th of November um, in Kenilworth and we look forward to hosting you all at the races. Thank you very much. Congratulations on being appointed the captain of the South African team to represent our country in this Jockeys International. You must be very proud and uh, a great honour. Yes, it's always an honour and uh, it took me by surprise but uh, as uh, Mr. Winston said that uh, a previous champion uh, has to be a captain so... You know what they say, the Lord above never gives you more than you can handle and you've become the first black jockey ever to win the Vodacom Durban July, the first black jockey to become champion jockey and now the first black jockey to become the captain of South Africa. It's, it's incredible for South Africa's nation. Uh, just hopefully this season we'll try and just keep on ticking. Things are still going well. History will always be history and I'm, I'm very glad of, very proud to be a part of it. It's a great thrill to just be around these animals. They're so, they're so loving and uh, we just have to take our horsemanship and put it together and uh, we try and uh, get them through a line and uh, that's what we, uh, we're here for. Rob Dalton with us and if uh, there was an award for the sponsor that has been associated with the Jockeys International for the longest it would have to be Sun International and for that we're very grateful. Thanks Andy, yeah it's great being here and being the lifestyle partners now of what we want to do with all the sporting uh, codes and things like that and having done the International Jockeys uh, Challenge in the past we all know the jockeys like to chill and relax so you know we've got the best hotels, the Palace at Sun City, the Maslow in Johannesburg and obviously the Table Bay down in Cape Town when they race at Kenilworth on the 16th. And with them coming in on the 10th of November, it's great having them at Sun City. We've organized the golf day. One of the things that they always remember from previous visits is uh, the Boma Bra in the middle of the Pilonsberg where the animals are literally walking around about 20 yards away from them. And yeah, we've had some of the characters like your Frankie de Torres and Richard Hughes, unfortunately won't be here, he loves it. And uh, they really have a good relaxed time before their race. All the international jockeys were aboard our flight from all European destinations, enjoying the... We've tried everything possible for them to come very comfortable so that it would be a very strong race.